What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. We have another six for six with the man, the myth, the legend, Alex Etches. Thanks for having me, mate. Hey, I'm glad that you are here. I'm glad we are here at St. Andrews. We're on the Eden course. Uh, can you just give me the rundown? How did you end up making golf YouTube videos? Purely by accident. It was, um, I worked for a golf company in the UK about 12 years ago. And uh, one of the reps came in and gave us a driver and just said, do you want to give this a hit? And at the time, I think it was like an iPhone 3 recorded is and uh, they decided to upload it just purely on on, on youtube and it was uh, it was a terrible video no no talking just mm -hmm. just a shot and uploaded it. it got a thousand views so this was like 12 years ago and at that time it was massive oh yeah and it kind of went went from there so it went from a shot and then a little bit of talking gradually got more and more confident said a little bit more and here we are you just found your way that's up. it that's great. A little tap in for par on the first. Okay, nice. Boom. Well, Hold on, mate. I'll take it. All right, so second question out here, Alex. Um, you have a lot of other interests outside of golf. Yes. Right? We've talked about two of those over the last couple of days. One of them specifically in the gaming world. It is. Yeah, so tell me tell me about like what games are you passionate about and then also you do a little streaming, correct? I do. Pop a nerd factor. <laughs> um, so yeah, it started really as a kid loved, loved playing games and then obviously through the pandemic, it was my escape a little bit, you know, we couldn't get outside as much. So it was just a way of really relaxing. Mm -hmm. So um, we started off as that and then I thought, look, we do golf content. I don't mind being in front of a camera and playing games. I may as well pair the two together. So. Yeah started a streaming channel so if people were interested in watching alex etches play gaming it was just alex etches gaming it is just alex etches gaming very original but uh what's in your opinion what is the best classic video game you know just like that one that well, you go okay if i think i think we're gonna get some, the most fun we're gonna get some comments on there correct so, you know. that's the whole point engage um for me the one that's like is is, is ultra special the og is, is halo the original halo it was 2000 2001 original Xbox, I thought as a kid at Christmas, you know, proper, proper good memory there, core memory of opening that up and yep. Master Chief for the first time. Yeah, Master Chief. <laughs> yeah, that was special. It game. was, it was. Hmm. Well, I hit it. Great put in. Yep. Wonderful. Uh, are you a bit of a conspiracy theorist? Okay. And then if you are, do you have like a favorite conspiracy theory? I do like conspiracies. Yeah. I am quite a skeptic though. I don't I don't want to just jump into stuff yeah. and say, I'm not a flat earther. Right. Let's go that far. Um, <laughs> but I do like, you know, things that, I find it interesting, especially like it's, it's imagination as well when you think about it, a conspiracy, mm -hmm. probably really far-fetched. Yeah. And uh, it's like the pyramids and aliens and all that sort of stuff. It's like, you know, it, it could be a possibility. The chances are very slim, but I'll never, right. I don't know any better. Correct. So, yes, I do love conspiracies, and I find them interesting, but I don't believe the majority of them. Do you have, like, a favorite one that maybe you wish was true? Ooh, um, I, I suppose if the flat earth thing came out and the earth was flat, that would be absolutely... Do you know what I mean? Oh, like, if, that actually, if that actually happened, and we're all here saying you're all daft. Right. The amount of ice squad you sows. I know, because, again, I've not been to space. Correct. I've not seen... Well, with my own conspiracy eyes. theory you buy, nobody has. <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> that's, that's, that's some of my favorites. That's true. Yeah. So that would be, if that turned out that they, they were right all along, that would be just not even <laughs> worth thinking about. It would be funny, though. It would. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Two what are you hitting here? Well, I haven't got a club that's 250. I've got a 270 or I've got a 240. Well, 240, if it rolls, might roll up. It's far iron, you are 240. Yeah. On to the fourth pole here, Alex. Uh, unfortunately, we're not playing that great of golf at the moment. No. It's mostly just around the greens, though. It's tough. Like I said before, it's, we, we could, we're, not, we're not used to this, are we? This, no. this style of golf, so. All right, so a couple of rapid-fire favorites, okay? <gasps> Favorite food? It's going to have to be lasagna. Lasagna? Yeah, I love, a, love, a bit, I love me Italian. Yeah. You like that one, don't you? you know? oh. Yeah, lasagna, got to be. Do you have a favorite genre of music? Literally, I listen to everything, but uh, 
if it came down to it, it'd have to be just like house. Favorite golf course? Uh, Royal Melbourne. Right. Stunning golf course. If you've not played it, got to be on your bucket list. Favorite piece of cinema? Interstellar. Yeah, yeah. that's my Yeah, favorite. it's just absolutely, I mean, soundtrack, movie, just everything in general. It's perfect. If you'd, have asked, if you'd have asked me that a few years ago before that was released, I'd have had just a hard time. There would have been five or six, but that's my clear fear one now. It's just class, class movie. Yeah. All right, Alex, uh, next question. We need a distraction after those two shots. Yeah. Yeah. Um, who is the most famous contact in your cell phone? James Robinson. You don't have to say that just because he's here. Okay. <laughs> is he not here? No, he's, he's not like, okay. here, here. Um, he can't hurt you. Who's famous? Maybe Casey Stoner, the MotoGP World Champion. Oh, okay. Uh, a few years, yeah. So, how did you, uh, you get it, that intro? How should, so he got injured and ended up watching my videos in oh. Australia. Really? And I'm a huge MotoGP fan, so he started following me. I got the blue tick, the CS27, now follows you, trying not to fanboy. Wow. I'm like, there's no way, knowing he just got into golf. And, uh, yeah. Found out they watches the videos and wanted to play some golf, so at some point I'll be playing with Casey Stoner. Hey, listen, is it the, the coolest feeling in the world knowing that somebody you look up to looks at you and is like, yeah. that guy's awesome. Yeah, I know, it's pretty good. Yeah, I was, like, I was like, are you sure you got the right person? <laughs> That's sick, man. Very cool. We need this for par, man. <laughs> yes. That's not even close. Oh, yeah. It's not just that we're bad putters, we're like the same bad putter. Hold on. How are we this bad at this? Easy. When you're off, when you're off. Well, Alex, I believe, barring a miracle, you, we are gonna have the distinction of being the first six for six scramble over part. I'm not surprised. Good with you. After yesterday and today, yeah. just could see it coming. It's so unfortunate. I feel like we've actually hit pretty much yeah. mostly good shots yeah, today, but around the green, just. Obviously, like you say, Blink's golf, you've got to be on short game. You can't miss a beat, so. Absolutely. All right, uh, last question for you. If you could change one rule in golf, just snap your fingers, everybody accepts it, so you're just changing one thing about golf moving forward, what would it be? I'd definitely work on pace of play. Okay. I'd definitely maybe tr go a bit more strict towards that because I think... For me, I'm quite a fast player. Yeah. I think if you're a slow player, it doesn't bother you. Right. Because you're used to it, but right. I'm a very quick golfer, so it's one thing that really grinds my gear, so I'll probably maybe clamp down a little bit more on that, if I'm honest. Oh yeah, crack down, get faster. Now that's a good roll. Go in, go in, go in! Oh, I straightened up at the end. Yeah. Pleasure. Pleasure, mate. Hey, last, last question before okay. we get out of here, all right? This was your first time hitting Tacoma Golf Clubs. Yeah. What's your first impression of the irons you got in your bag? So, I said this yesterday, this was off camera, so believe me or believe me not. But I was like, this is the first time I took the wrappers off, hit them, and like beautiful sound and feel. Mm -hmm. Felt very confident with them. Like, the irons have not been the issue. Right. <laughs> the irons have not been the issue at all. It's been the you know, short stick, but yeah, it's a um, pleasure to hit. Pleasure. They look great. I feel confident over them and uh, they perform well. Sweet. Well, thank you again. Appreciate thank you, mate. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Don't hold the score against us. We're just having a good time. Which might be a minus instead of a plus, just swap it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's fine. It's a time ball. Yeah. See so, yeah. <laughs> ya.